Hey guys, how's it going? This is Azinium, and uh, a couple. I've had a couple of uh, recording issues getting my new uh, webcam set up with the uh, desk cam. Actually, had just recorded two videos that uh, were lost. Um, I will uh, try and explain what's going on down here. Essentially, it's a make your own mouse pad. Uh, I also had reviewed a couple of items. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, it is a multi-tool. It is a, a uh, laser. It's a flashlight. It's a ink pen, and it's also a stylus. You can actually get this at Dollar Tree for a buck. Uh, it's it. Stylus is flawless. Uh, the transitions are just completely, uh, completely smooth. I have absolutely no issue with this. This is actually my favorite item here right now. So what we have here, and this is what I'm doing now right now is just, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, I'd say like, we're trying to warm up to the uh, new unboxing videos that I'm going to be doing. I have two loot crates that we're going to start to do. We have the pet loot crate and we have the uh, regular gaming loot crate. So those are going to be coming once a month and I will be posting two videos per month on those. One for the uh, pet crate and one for the uh, gaming loot crate. So let's do this on, let's start out with, I don't know. We're probably gonna have to chop this into a couple of videos. Let's, uh, here's some Pokemon cards. This is called Pokemon Primal Clash. Uh, this is, uh, we're gonna open these up so you guys have an idea of what's in these packages. And if there's something really good, I guess let me know. Um, this one, it looks like we have a, a, uh, Shroomish? A Honj and an energy card. That's uh, pretty cool. Um, this Honj uh, it looks like some sort of sword Pokemon. Your opponent active. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. It's uh, I I'm I apologize. Like I said, I know nothing about Pokemon. This uh, Shroomish says your opponent's active. Pokemon is now asleep. It's looked like some sort of like act like activation cards or something. And then some sort of uh, energy card. Um, Alright, let's open this guy next. I like how I'm like going completely blind into this and I know nothing about these things. Uh, okay, I've seen this one before. Uh, it's called a Rhyhorn. Says this Pokemon does 10 damage to itself. Okay, so working on the theory that these ones right here, I'll flip them around so you guys can actually see them. Working on the theory that these ones are some sort of uh, activation effect type of cards. We'll put these guys in this pile. This is obviously some sort of uh, power up. Um, and these ones are the actual. Um, these ones look like they're the actual. Pokemon that I'm dropping all over the ground. Oh my goodness. Alright, here we go. This one is a Rhyhorn. This Pokemon does 10 damage to itself. Wow, what a bummer. Um, this one's called a Trap Inch. It knows Gnaw and Mud Slap. Uh, I know this one's a Pokemon, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay, here we go. That must be the attack uh, hit points or something. And then it does 10 points of damage to itself, too, apparently. So, Trap Inch, it knows Gnaw and Mud Slap. Not much of a thing there. Oh, look at that. There's a little description in the bottom. All right, so, me, you know, let me go through these again then real quick. So, Shroom Inch says, It sprouts poison spores from the top of its head. These spores cause pain all over if inhaled. Wow, that's pretty grizzly. Um, this one says, if anyone, if anyone dares to grab its hilt, it wraps a blade cloth around that person's arm and drains that person's life energy completely. That's also pretty grizzly. Alright. Um, 
this uh, trap inch says it makes an inescapable colonel pit that lies in weight at the bottom and then it lies in weight at the bottom for prey to come tumbling down uh, and this one says it's inept it is inept at turning because of its four short legs it can only charge and run in one direction all right cool, 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 cool. all right let's see um this one's called a dull blade kind of looks like this guy this pawnage and i i'm sorry if i, I have no clue what i'm talking about because i really don't understand any of this uh this one has a pulse swipe you flip a coin, if it's head, put a damage counter on your opponent, the opponent's active Pokemon until its HP is 10. And then its description is, the complex attack pattern of two swords are unstoppable even for an opponent, opponent greatly accomplished at sword play. Alright, very, very interesting. I think this game could be fun, maybe if I understood it at all, but... You know, just working off of, uh, I'm not really working off of anything, I'm just sort of reading things and <laughs> hoping I'm pronouncing them right. Alright, we're gonna have to step this up a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna read what they do and the, uh, the attacks they have. This one's called a Nose Pass. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by its attack is reduced by 40 after applying weakness and resistance. Uh, that's Nose Pass. That's another one. This that that attack was called a uh, Stiffen. Uh, this one's a uh, Zig. It knows Sand Attack. Uh, if defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn, your opponent puts a coin, kills, that attack does nothing. This is some sort of, uh, maybe power-up card or something? It says trainer on it, so maybe it's just a trainer card and it's its own thing. So shuffle your hand into your deck, flip coin of heads, draw seven cards of tails, draw four. Alright, moving right along to pack number... I've lost count. Four pack number four, apparently. All right, here we go. Yeah, we we're getting a lot of these like blank cards, telling me to go to some sort of website. Um, so we have a uh, tour chick. Um, Ember flip coin. It fails. Discard a flame energy attached to this Pokemon. All right. Cool. And we have another Shroomish, right? Didn't we have a Shroomish? Yeah, okay. So you guys know what this one does. It does Spore. Um, look at this, it's a Mr. Mime. I know this guy. It has Trick and Lockup. Uh, you guys will have to uh, look this guy up yourselves because the description is quite long. Uh, pretty cool card though. Um, I, I have no clue if it's rare or not. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I just hit the jackpot and I don't even know it. Because, like I said, I I don't even know how to go about playing this game. Uh, and I assume since I only have like I don't know, barely enough cards to even do probably anything with, uh, I probably haven't really hit the jackpot. All right, so this one's called a Bunnelby. It has one attack called Trip Over Flip Coin. If heads, the attack does 30, da 30 more damage. That's kind of neat. Right there. Alright. Oh, I got a, a shiny, sparkly card of most likely epicness. Assuming this is good. Like a really... If, it, if they put this much time into the artwork, it must be a good card. So, it's called a Whis... A Whis... A Whis Cash? Uh, it knows Amnesia and Rising Lunge. The the second attack says flip a coin, heads this attack does 30 more damage. It's called uh, the Rising Lunge. Uh, wow, okay, cool. Did I get it down? And the last one 
is called a Vibra. Here's right here, guys. The Vibra. It says, um, Sand Attack and Super Vibration for the two, uh, the two different attacks. The, uh, Sand Attack says, the defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn. Your opponent flips a coin, kills, that attack does nothing. So, very cool. The artwork is actually really nice. Uh, I, I mean, oh, um, at least now, you kind of know what to expect when you're opening one of these uh, Primal Clash packages from the uh, Pokemon series. So, uh, cool. Let me know if I got anything rare. I have no clue, but let me know in the comment section below if I had anything rare. Um, very cool cards. Um, yeah, I, that's probably about it. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my uh, unboxing. Uh, video series. This is absolutely brand new and uh, more will be coming. Uh, like I said, this is leading up to the Loot Crate videos. Really excited about that. Uh, once again, this has been Azinium. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, normally, if there was a previous video, it would be over in that direction and there would be a bit of a, um, a, uh, YouTube card call out right, right over there in that direction. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys, uh, I will see you guys next time.